I represent in Kano East West uh, Federal Constituency. I'm from Enugu State. Mr. Speaker, I come under Order 8, Rule 4, on the matter of uh, urgent uh, public importance, to move a motion on the urgent need to halt federal government's withdrawal from federal West African two certificate examination and other common entrance examination, and to provide an enabling environment for students to write their examinations in accordance with NCDC guidelines. Mr. Speaker, I also move that our standing rules should be set aside for me to move this motion. I so move. No, we not. No, we sought and no federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, I rise to second the motion. Every move on our own, I so second. Distinguished colleagues, this House notes that the world is immersed with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, with its health and social economic consequences around the world, and particularly Nigeria, which has resulted in loss of lives, economic resources, threatened the universal education system, and adversely devastated the global health system. Also notes that the World Health Organization, alongside other health institutions around the world, Chief has intensified efforts the containment Step down, please. of the COVID-19 pandemic. Further notes. Honorable Chudoka. Chudoka. And please, honourable members, Honourable Chidoka will be the last honourable member to go and meet the speaker. Also notes, do I go ahead, sir? Also notes that the World Health Organization, alongside other health institutions around the world, are intensifying efforts towards the containment of the COVID-19 pandemic. Further notes that annual West African school certificate examination scheduled to hold between April 6th and June 5th, 2020, was shifted to between August 3rd and September 5th, 2020, due to COVID-19 pandemic. Observed that the choice of August 3rd to September 5th, 2020 period for the conduct of, of the examination was not arbitrarily set. Rather. WAYEC consulted extensively with the government of all the five countries that constitute the Council before arriving at the new exam date and duration. Aware that the Minister of State for Education, Emeka Majuba, on Monday, July 6, 2020, during a briefing of the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 in Abuja, announced that Nigeria will participate in the West African Schools Second senior school certificate examination scheduled between August 3rd and the September 5th, 2020. Further aware that the Minister of State also announced that school facilities will be available to the affected students for revision classes. Concerned that on Wednesday, July 8th, 2020, the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, also announced that schools under control of the federal government will not be opening for the forthcoming WIAC exams and urge state governments to toe the line of the federal government. Disturbed by the contradictory pronouncements of the top officials of the federal government within such a short space of time, worried that Nigerians' non-participation in the year's examination pertains serious psychological, socioeconomic and health effects on the students as well as the already overburdened parents and guardians. Also worried that the negative and cumulating effects of the government action in seeking to withdraw Nigerian students from the examination will be devastating on our educational system and Nigeria's economy at large. Also worried that this sudden policy reversal is and will be detrimental and create further confusion and uncertainty in the educational sector, as well as frustrate the students' lifelong ambition and send wrong signals to stakeholders and investors. Cognizant that in taking precautionary health and safety measures, 
the federal government reopened markets, airports, interstate, interstate travels, religious centers, banks, etc. Convinced that the government could apply the same safety measures towards school resumption to enable Nigeria to participate in exit examinations. Encouraged that with the success, successes recorded from the gradual reopening of the economy, its application in the educational sector in screening the contamination, additional centers and supervisors, as well as strict compliance with NCDC guidelines on social distancing, hand washing, use of face masks and sanitizers will contain the spread of virus. Hopeful that the adoption of comprehensive and adequate NCDC preventive guidelines in the school and the exam centers, coupled with pre-attendance testing of the students at least two weeks to the exams in adherence to the WHO and NCDC guidelines, will no doubt guarantee that the pandemic will be of no effect in the period and process of the examination. Resolved to and consider it expedient to, one, urge the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to reverse the decision of the Federal Minister of Education withdrawing Nigeria from participating in the West African School Secondary Senior School Certificate Examination and other similar examinations. Two, urge the Minister of Education to immediately implement the health safety measure outlined by the Federal Executive Council for the conduct of examination, as well as provide soap, hand sanitizers, and other requirements stipulated by NCDC. Three, mandate the House Committee on Basic Education, Health Services, Water Resources, and Legislative Compliance to ensure compliance and report back to the House as soon as possible. I so move. Aye. Those against me say nay. Aye, have it.